Good morning world, Andrew here. It's a bright sunny morning here in Sydney, Australia. And as I sit down to have breakfast, I look at my pump and think, yeah, okay, I'm up a little bit. There's not enough insulin in the pump to last me till tomorrow morning. Um, or no, throughout, throughout the day. And I need to do, I'm just going to do a little top up so I know it will last me till tomorrow. And tomorrow I'll then do a video of a complete fill. So this is all about reloading a cartridge. Let me just get the, the pump and bits in line with the camera. And the tubing is going off around the iPad. So there we have the white dot. And I've put a little bit of insulin into the syringe. So let's just get it into the right spot so I know it's going in properly. That's better. And I'll in insert that little bit. Now, the trick of reloading a T-Slim without wasting the um, 10, 10 plus units is something I devised early last year. Um, oh yes, yeah, there's breakfast. Um, I'd already had breakfast but forgot to bowl us um, beforehand. Anyway, reload time. So this is this pump's got basal IQ on it, hence the little diamond up there. So the the options menu has the load process on the front screen. On the G5 T Slim, you would have to page down, and you would get the um, the load option there. But once you're in load, it's exactly the same. So load, change cartridge, tick the old confirmation that we're all used to preparing yes I've removed the new ones installed because it's the same cartridge now this process um, can be done without even disconnecting so I'm still connected to the pump during all this that's nearly done changed and when you top it up you need a minimum of 50 or 60 units I've gotten what the number is um, I had 45 in there I've added about another 30 I think that will easily get me through till tomorrow now before I press start <clears throat> what I do is I turn it over and just dislodge the cartridge see now I press start. Now because it's not actually in place, it's not going to send any insulin down, <coughs> excuse me, any insulin down the tubing. There you can see the, the piston operating, going back and forth, because it's not engaging with the cartridge, obviously the, nothing is going to be sent down. Now as this gets to 10, I then just have it sort of sitting here. You can see, hopefully, that the the piston is still not engaging. Plenty of plenty of gap. Getting there. Approaching ten. Almost there. Do 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 do. Hope everyone's having a nice day and your levels behaving. And okay, we've gone over 10. I press stop. Whilst it says stopping fill, which goes for about five seconds, I now push it back into place. During this detecting insulin, it will deliver one cycle of the um, micro delivery system, which is, I believe, about 0.36 
of a unit. Obviously, you saw I was 8.9, <clears throat> which is about 160 for the Americans or those using MGDL. Um, so it says it's used 10.5, but actually it hasn't used any because the cartridge wasn't in place. And complete the complete the process. Done. Saying 60 plus, and um, that's all complete. The cartridge has been reloaded. I've not disconnected. I've not wasted any insulin, and I'm good to go for another 24 hours. Bye now.